Hello everyone, it's your girl Tammy here and I am back on another project. This time I have Tep, my friend Anna, and we're getting some beadboard because we're getting ready to work on my daughter's salon. We're going to give her a complete makeover. That was her Christmas wish. So that's what we're getting ready to do. Stay tuned, you'll see more. This is how my garage used to look before I moved in. And here is the corner nook in the garage where my daughter has set up her shop. And we're gonna extend it out from the cube because she need a little bit more space. So I'm going to build a wall that surround that cube. This is her little cube, which she, she calls it. This is her salon space. She styled and decorated this herself. She invested into herself. And I invested in her getting an electrician to put lights in the ceiling because she was using lamps. So now she have a light switch that she can flicker the lights on and off. So I wanted to make that simpler for her. Also, this place need a little bit more refreshing. And to build the wall, we had to first measure out our boards, as you see my friend Anna is doing now. We're measuring them out 16 inches apart because we want to have some kind of idea of how far the boardings are apart, and that is usually standard. So once we got the boards measured, I knew exactly how many 2x4s I should cut, and we were cutting 4 inches off of their center boards but on the frame that's going around we left them the standard 96 inches my ceiling to floor in my garage is 96 inches so the frame is going to be 96 inches tall but we're going to have floorboards so we're going to have to make the inserts of the boards shorter here are the boards now that we got them set on each marker that Anna did. We are now getting ready to nail it in and we did end up using screws because the nails definitely will not stay. So when we first started Anna was uh, stapling them in and then we converted back to screws. We were going to use the nail gun but um, for some reason we had the nails were just too short. Also, we got the frame finished. So once you finish it on the floor, you lift it up and you place it up against your foundation, which is what I was doing, um, bolting it to the wall and to the ceiling. And in this case, my ceiling was a little bit, um, there was a gapping up there. So I found a smaller board and cut it. And then I made sure that I mounted it to the ceiling. Right here is where we did our L-shaped wall. And Anna is using L brackets right now to hold the L-shaped wall in. And we also, if you notice, we used two 2 by 4s in that corner right there so that we can have um, space to nail our B-boards. Or if you were using sheetrock, a place to screw your sheetrock in. So, the B-board is the next thing that we're going to be doing and i'm scoring the b-board now because i want to be able to just break it away we had such a small space because my garage is full of furniture so we were able to get it done and this is the beginning of building that wall i got the b-board up and now i had to stop because my daughter is back to working Y'all, it is day three working on this space. And trust me, this has been a difficult task because her salon is still being used and we keep having to take it back apart. But she's a very busy girl. And of course, you see my garage has never been unpacked since the first time we moved. So it's a lot of things that I do need to sort through. But right now, what I'm doing is putting in the cracks. And I'm also adding corner, quarter round trim in the sides. So we're going to do that on both sides right here. So I know I look a hot mess, but this is one of those days. It's raining outside, so I can't take the saws outside and drill. So I'm going to have to try to do all that in this space. So I can get to painting 
get the styling and redecorating. We got some surprises for her, so I can't wait to get all that done. Okay, you guys, so right here is where I will be showing you where I corked. I finished corking the trim between the beat boards from where I scored it or cut it in half. And now you cannot tell that there was ever a gap there. It took about six B boards to do this project. And the reason why I chose to use B boards is because moving them on a truck, I didn't have proper um, transportation for them. So I was afraid sheet rot would break in half and I didn't want to risk that. Also, I will be painting and redoing the floor. Now that I've started painting, you can see the difference in the two whites. The B-board is our natural white, and now I am using a bright, bright white. And I'm absolutely loving the newness of it and the cleanliness of the white. And as you can see, I've already completed my molding of the uh, quarter rounds in the corners here. And it looks so good. I framed the outside of the, the wall as well. So I'm loving how this is turning out. I'm so proud of myself. I'm working alone today. And um, my friend Anna, she's building a house of her own. So she was unable to really help me the last three days. But it's okay because she got a lot going on. But I know we got more projects coming for you together in the future. Um, also... I wanted to paint the ceiling white because it was looking so dingy and old since I painted the walls bright white and I wanted it to, to have this nice clean fresh newness about it. My daughter pretty much had her own salon furniture. I just want to make everything look good for her and put some pictures on the wall. Also I want to refresh up that black wall that she already had. It's looking a bit dull and because she works with face powder a lot it gets on the walls and I just want to shine them up by putting some fresh bare black paint. Okay this is week number three but day number four. You guys I had to stop so many times so that she can work and I just got really tired. I just took a whole week off so that she can work because she has so many clients. Okay so what I've done was cut out the board. We're making some shelves for that side wall because it's looking kind of plain inside and I wanted to um, give them a curve shape so it just don't look like I just took some square boards and put them on the wall. Also, I had these wall scots, um, and I never used them. I bought them from a flea market like seven years ago, and they were like this antique gold. So I took a uh, nail head glue, liquid nails, and I glued them to the wall scots. I also, before gluing them, I nailed a nail inside because we're gonna use these for wig stands. My daughter is a wig maker, and she sell wig parts in hair and she does lashes so she has her own full beauty bar she also sell nail supplies as well so the first thing i'm going to do after i sanded the corners down i am going over this with paint and it was a task painting this because i didn't prime it first so it kept soaking up the paint i must have put about three coats and it's still you can still see the wood through it so I just finished sanding these and I'm getting ready to give it a nice uh, paint around the curve around the whole thing I'm gonna paint the whole thing white so it'll look like it came together already this piece right here was just like the last minute idea I just wanted something different on her wall to give her something grand I mean she did have her own furniture she already had it set up she just didn't have enough space in there and she had a curtain that she was using to um, divide her space from the rest of the garage so building her wall putting shells in there making her space look more professional is what I aim to do today Get all completed. I really hated paint painting over this gold, but it must be done. And it actually looked good to me with some of the gold peeking out of the white, but I just decided to go ahead and uh, paint it white. As you can see here, this is what I was talking about. I nailed a nail through the through the wood before prior to adhering it to the, the wall sconce. 
and they're looking good but I want to tell you, tell you that when they dried they dry with this blue tint so I did have to go over them like three more times after they dry I think they're gonna look really pretty on the wall you'll see soon because I'm getting ready to give you a before and after shots now keep in mind I am not finished but this project has been taking three weeks and I'm just so excited and I really want to share it with you but I will continue to work on her project but so far this is what you are gonna get to see I'm almost there I'm 98% finished so remember the before she did have the lights in the ceiling, but she did have the floor, she did have the black wall, she did have the furniture. And so you can see where I added more space for her, put in a wall, and now let's see the reveal. <laughs>
Well, guys, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this space that I created, how I built the wall, how I styled it, how I refreshed it with paint, and helping her to get on board of her career. I hope you guys saw some ideas that you can take if you're interested in building your own beauty bar or salon into your home and, or in your garage or bedroom or whatever space that you have designated for it. I hope you saw some ideas that you can take and do for yourself. This was a really easy project. The only problem that I had was laying the linoleum. It was a task. It did not come sticky tack and it really kicked my butt. But other than that, I really enjoyed working on this project. It was really easy peasy and just time consuming because again, I had to work on her schedule and not on mine. So I hope you do like it. If you have a Cricut, the style by means sign, it was done with a, a silhouette machine and you can get one and print these out yourself and just stick them, peel and stick them on the wall. I did order some from Amazon and they came very small so it would be best to go ahead and find someone who has a silhouette and request that they do it for you and then put your name on your wall as well and it's removable. Thanks so much. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of what I've done. Bye-bye.